My favorite channel in the history of YouTube has dropped another one. We've got Godzilla vs. King Kong. I f***ing love these guys. I will say I'm way more familiar with King Kong and the lore behind King Kong. I know a decent amount of Godzilla, but there's literally like 5,000 Godzillas. So I'm gonna do my best to react to this song and catch as many bars as I possibly can on my first time listening through. But man, these videos make me happy. But before I dive into this video, real quick guys, I am getting married this year. Still can't believe I made that happen. But I have made my music reviews section on my website 60% off right now. So if you've ever had a song that you wanted to send my way and ask for advice or want any kind of critiques, you can book that on my website right now for 60% off. I sit down and record a video just like this and send it back to you with all the feedback that I can give you. And you can do whatever you want to with it. Some people like to post it on their YouTube as a reaction video. That's fine with me. I'm just trying to help out. And in return, you're helping me pay for my wedding. It's a win-win. But if you're not a musician but still want to help out with the wedding stuff, we do have a registry as well if you feel like checking that out. But regardless, I appreciate any kind of support you guys want to give. With that being said, let's go, baby. I'm excited. One day, I will play a character on Epic Rap Battles of History. I swear it. Bow! <laughs> oh, they got him animated. Okay, let's go. Damn. Oh, oh my God. All right, the mix on this is... Wow! I understand like the Godzilla screech and everything is like a million car accidents happening at once and that's kind of what this vocal mix sounds like right now. Really staying true to the characters here. But I'll chew you up dog, this Kong is getting conquered. I have two dogs, one of them is 150 pounds, the other one's about 90 pounds. They need big dog toys and Kong makes like the most indestructible dog toys. Chew you up dog, this Kong is getting conquered. That's a sick bar out of the gate that I wouldn't understand unless I was a dog owner. And then we got this bar right here, the facial expressions man. I can tell this is Peter right out the gate. But him being lonely, especially for a social primate, because gorillas are naturally social primates. Got a lot of friends in the animal kingdom. Oh my god, man! When I'm crushing on a girl, it's my foot that she comes under. He, when he crushes on a girl, it's a damsel in distress who is weirded out about him sniffing her. A simpanzee instead of chimpanzee. Hilarious, man. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, man! Spoon fed hot lead. Here comes the airplane. He died in the original movie because he's up there on the Empire State Building swatting away airplanes, and that was caused him to fall off. And then everybody does that when they spoon feed little kids. Like, here comes the airplane, open wide. Hilarious, man. Oh my god! Oh my god! I have no idea how Kong is gonna be able to do better than this so far. How did falling off the Empire feel? You're like Jussie Smollett, but this beatdown is real. Jussie Smollett was on the Empire TV show, but he got fired because he staged this beatdown from MAGA supporters, but this beatdown is real. That one was obviously fake. Dude still had this makeshift noose on whenever the police came to interview him. Holy shit, man, we are 50 seconds into this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Nice. Your ass brain hanging with these monkey bars. You hang from monkey bars, but the monkey bars, the punchlines, you ain't even got punchlines. You barely got arms. He's got little baby gorilla arms. Or not gorilla arms. Little baby Godzilla arms. Why was I just sitting there doing that? ERB just literally brings the kid out of me, bro. But with these little ass arms, you, you, you ain't got a line to punch. You can't punch line. You got little arms. You can't punch. <laughs> Yo, does anybody else remember that? Dude, I remember that commercial from I was like super little. I've seen that on ESPN reruns of like some of the best commercials ever when Charles Barkley literally dunked on like this Godzilla thing in the middle of New York, I think, or Tokyo, wherever that was in a city. I, I might even find the, the freaking commercial somewhere. But this whole scheme about him coming off the bench and then I dunked on you like Barkley did, the basketball scheme, but at the base of Mount Fuji, I think that might be where they fought in the first Godzilla versus King Kong. I don't remember, dude. I get all the movies mixed up now. I believe it, though. ERB doesn't lie. Oh, my God. Oh my god! My man 
it said, here's your sign in sign language. Made it rhyme with everything because he was taught sign language in the movies. And then the bars about how he can't even fill seats himself with his own movie, so it's always Godzilla versus this, versus this, versus this. You gotta bring King Kong in to save the Godzilla franchises. And the whole Snoop Dogg thing, we don't love them hoes, we don't love them Toho's. Toho is who made, literally, like, at least 15 Godzilla movies, I don't even know. There's so many Godzilla versus whatever movies that were made in like the 50s and 60s that I just, I couldn't even tell you who's who. Oh my god! <laughs> bing bong, fuck your life! I can't believe I said that. I hate everybody that says that. But that was a bar about his old movies and how the words and actions don't line up. I've even seen a lot of comedians make fun of that about how the older Godzilla movies, how the actor would talk and then like two seconds later the words would come out. Like nothing ever synced up. Your words and your actions don't align just like it did in the movies. That was crazy. <laughs> Mm, nice. Oh, <laughs> Yo. Uh. Mm. Oh, not my guy, Jack Black, bro. That has got a sting, man. Was that Skull Island, Reign of Kong? Was that the movie Jack Black was in? Or was that the name of the Universal ride? I was just at Universal not too long ago, so maybe that's why it's stuck in my head. Must be from Hollow Earth, because all your threats are empty. Hollow is empty. That was a nice little double bar right there. The Pacific Rim 2 snuff. Got some heavy hitting bars, bro. <laughs> Nice, man. Dude, I know I'm pausing a lot. I'm sorry. Wrap your lips around Tenacious D's. D's nuts. Tenacious D was a Jack Black film. He was talking about Jack Black and the King Kong movies. Nice little tie right there. You ain't a rap, Godzilla. I like the tie to the Eminem song right there. And then addressing how Hollywood literally just shit all over the Godzilla franchise. And then the 90s didn't make you any cooler. Mm. What kind of pumpy chump gets pumped by Ferris Bueller? So go ahead and make you cold blue. I'm Ooh. a destroyer. And now you're old too. Oh my god! Oxygen is O2, but talking about the films that they battled in and he's over 2 against King Kong, with Code Blue in a hospital, they yell it over the intercom system when somebody's having a cardiac arrest, and when Godzilla gets pissed, he starts glowing blue to shoot it out to shit. I don't know the technical terms for it, okay? I said I know more about King Kong, not Godzilla. And then we got this line about Ferris Bueller in the 90s. Did Godzilla have a movie in the 90s that came out the same time that Ferris Bueller did, and everybody's talking about Ferris Bueller instead of Godzilla? That's what I'm assuming right there. Shout out to Ferris Bueller's Day Off! But this Oxygen Destroyer O2 bar is, oh my god, nasty. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Did, did my man just go uh, triple time? I'm, I'm in triplets like a good door, the triple headed dragon. Oh, my fucking shit. He is rapping in triplets, but triplets like a door, the triple headed beast. How are you just gonna throw triplets in there? You knew I would like that. You guys, of all people, knew that I would geek out over that. And I did. I like the whole fathom, fathom double line right there, and then the Iron Man Thor still destroy you. But that whole triplet thing right there, man. Godzilla is absolutely killing this battle right now. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, man. Saddest death of a gorilla since Harambe. Shout out Harambe in the Cincinnati Zoo that got killed. Turned Skull Island into Pompeii. Pompeii was destroyed by a volcano, fire, magma. When I spit a verse, I destroy Kong Island like Pompeii because this verse is so fire. Is that an actual haiku? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, man. I love the switch up right there. Anyway. Like, it's just a cool little switch up that he did. But this right here, you ugly Mothra fucker instead of motherfucker. There was Godzilla versus Mothra. The big ass giant fucking moth. I thought that was the stupidest thing ever. And then this thing about it getting pregnant. Did Godzilla have a baby at some point? Your whole suit's a big rubber. Rubber is protection against pregnancy, but that's... I didn't even know Godzilla had a baby. That's how many Godzillas there are. There are so much that I cannot keep up with the timeline. No fear of Ojira, Oh, that was nice. 
Christ. Oh. I've only seen a handful of episodes of Breaking Bad, but I know that's the character that plays Walter White. Dead since the first act. Is that a big ass spoiler y'all just gave me? But this bar about this Alpha Gorilla not bringing Silver back. He's coming back with the gold. He's coming back in first place. He's not coming back in second in a battle of two, but also Silverback Gorillas. He's a gorilla. Dude, these guys have always been so good at punchlines, and I just nerd out over it. I love it so much, man. I really do. So good, man. Oh. <laughs> I, they got this animation stuff on them. They did it with phones? That's so good, man. I love that I could tell that that was that Godzilla was Peter from the very beginning of this. Man, shout out to these guys. I love ERB so much. Check them out. These are all their live shows if you're in those cities. Please go check them out. They are some of the dopest people ever on the internet. Love those guys. Who do you guys think won? I personally feel like Godzilla had the edge, but maybe it's because I understand a lot more about King Kong than I do Godzilla. But both guys had some crazy hitting bars. So that was some wild, wild shit. All right, that's it for this one. I love you guys. I will see you all in the next video. Y'all have a great day. This is my music if you guys want to check it out. Oh, shit. I'm doing a live show tomorrow, by the way. Glasgow, Kentucky. They're doing one in Glasgow, UK. I'm doing one in Glasgow, Kentucky. It's free. Check it down below to show up. All right, that's it. Love you. Bye. Somebody save me from myself. I'm following my.